Hello, my name is Philip Anderson from Werapi, the one-stop shop for depression and anxiety treatment online. Today is Monday, so we're doing a depression Q&A video where I answer your questions about depression. Um, I haven't done these videos for a while now. I've been feeling a bit tired, a bit sick, and I've also been a bit busy. But from now on, I'll upload them on Mondays. So if you're interested, click the subscribe button below and follow this channel. And if you have a question, send it to me at info at or simply write it in the comments section below. So without further ado, this week's question is, how can I start my day out with a little bit of normalcy instead of letting my depressive thoughts consume me? And I read a little bit between the lines here and I sense that this person is suffering from stronger depressive symptoms in the morning than they are doing uh, later in the day and that they are finding it very hard to control these feelings. So why are we more likely to feel stronger depressive symptoms in the morning? This is because we have recently woken up from a dream state where our subconscious mind has been able to run amok, uh, our conscious mind, um, it, our superego and our ego have found it hard to contain it or have been completely disabled. So during the last 30 minutes of dream state, we um, are dreaming of suppressed feelings, suppressed um, memories and suppressed desires. And these all come out during the dream state. And as we wake up, our mind is not properly turned on. So we're still a little bit loose. We're still um, we find it hard to guard ourselves against these thoughts. And then we're also coming to terms with the reality of uh, being in a place where those suppressed feelings, suppressed desires and suppressed memories are not applicable. So, for example, if a loved one has recently passed and you're dreaming of them and then you wake up and you find that they're not there or if you're dreaming of a life that you used to have and you're waking up and you realize that you don't have it anymore. And this is also applicable for desires and it's also applicable for um, memories of the past day, um, memories of things that are plaguing you at the present moment. So if you're in a depressed state, um, for a prolonged period of time and you're still feeling um, these symptoms then you're more likely to feel them if once you've woken up from a dream state because uh, this is your subconscious mind running amok. So how do we stop this from happening? My idea is to reverse engineer uh, a state of good mental well-being. So if you feel like you are uh, happier and less likely to feel depressive symptoms later on in the day. Think about what you're doing later on in the day and get um, get on them quickly in the morning. Start doing them quickly in the morning and then you might be able to distract yourself. This is, um, I must say, a temporary, a very, very temporary way of um, distracting yourself from depression and controlling your depression and we don't really want to control the, the depression we want to solve it in the long run so in the long run I would suggest you to seek a therapist but in the meantime try to think about what you do when you're in a happy state what you do when you're in a productive state when you're feeling less depressive symptoms and apply them in the morning when you just woken up Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. As I said, consider subscribing for future videos and also go to our Facebook and Instagram accounts and like us there. Links are in the description below. And if you want a session with me, I offer online counseling sessions for depression and anxiety. Just go over to www.werapi.com, click the book a sessions button and book a session at a time of your choice. Thank you very much and have a great day.